hello guys welcome once again to my channel today i'll be doing a tutorial on how to build an agron web wallet interface using rich and react what is rich which is a programming language that is used for building dap it is the safest and easiest way to build that dapps so with rich you can write once and deploy multiple blockchain for now rich works on the agron blockchain and on the ethereum blockchain for today the focus is going to be on how to integrate rich on the agron blockchain to connect to my Argo wallet and Argo signer. So quickly, I'll walk you through the demo of the application and the code. So to begin, we need to set up our developer console for us to be able to see the, the transactions. So to go to view, to do that, we have to go to view, then developer and developer tools. So with this, as we proceed, you see the transactions on the console. And so um, to get started, first we need to uh, set up our account on my Argo wallet and set up the Argo Signer Chrome extension. I've already done that, so you just need to install the Argo, the Argo Signer Chrome extension to be able to use Argo Signer to sign transactions. And for this, for the Argo wallet, you need to set up an account. So basically for both the Argo signer and my Argo wallet, we are using the testnet account. So we set up a testnet account on the my Argo wallet. Quickly, I'll walk you through the code on how we are able to perform or we are able to connect to my Argo wallet and get access to our address, which is our account and the account balance. So once we click on connect my sign the transaction and then we see the account address and the account balance so basically this is the code that does that this is the code that and those connecting to the wallet getting the account balance and getting the account so to get the account you do reach dot get default account then reach dot balance off to get the account balance then to transfer fund this is the code that Andrew is transferring a fund. With this, you do reach the transfer and it takes in the account, the receiver, and the amount. Then to fund account, you use the reach dot fund from default. First, from first, so this works with the DevNet and uh, account balance here is quite limited. So, I advise if you need to fund your accounts using the testnet, you need to uh, use. Argo and dispenser. This we undo funding of accounts for us. Just put in the address here. So quickly, let's transfer fund and fund our account. To transfer fund, we copy the address we want to transfer the fund to. Paste it right here and put in the amount of fund we want to transfer. So to be able to do this, we still need to sign this transaction. So to sign the transaction so now our balance is going to reduce from 22 to 21 by the time this is done all right so as you can see on the console and on the ui then we can fund our account to say i want to fund it in one algo i click on fund so this will also update the account balance and the account will increase from 21 to 22 all right so um the next is connecting to argo signer so to connect just like we did on the Margo wallet we need to first of all connect to argo signer first to be able to do any kind of transaction so we click on we do this and we grant access so connection has been done so after connecting, I can now make payments. So let's say I want to make payment one and receiver address is this, then I sign. So once again to be able to sign the transaction. So this is the transaction ID. With this, I can go to the Agron Explorer to get the details of the transaction and this we this we bring up 
the sender the amount and the receiver that's this is about transaction and i can let me take you to the code that handles connecting to agosana so this with this line of code here agosana will connect we can connect and get the user account by calling this method and we are connecting to the test net that's why we have that right there in ledger test net so then to make transaction or to make transfer i we are basically using the agor sdk to make payments with suggested finance from objects and to be able to work with the agor sdk we need to set up our clients to do that you need to have your token your the agor server and the port all right so the next thing to do is to create assets and opt into the asset so to create an asset you give your assets a name I say that's the name I want to that's the note I want to give it then I sign the transaction so we still have transaction ID to check up transaction on the Explorer if you want then we can also check that this is a transaction right here and if you come down here, you see my new assets. We have hundred, one thousand units of it, and this is the unit ID. So we we'll need this unit ID when we want to opt into the asset. So I copy it, and then come down here, paste it in the asset index. Um, so that's the index of that asset we just created. My notes and the receiver address. Say this guy right here. Will be receiving we will be opting into this asset so i'm pasting that as that address and click sign in so having done that we get the transaction id and we can also check it up so quickly let me walk you through the code that handles Create an asset and opening to the asset. So to create an asset, we do agot SDK dot make assets creates transaction with just a param. So it takes in a uh, from which is the creator, the assets name, the unit name, the total adjustment of the notes, and the suggested param. Then obtaining also takes in uh, the uh, creator, the to that's who is obtaining that the receiver. Then the asset index, the notes, the amount, and so just a So basically, these are these are the function that handles opting to the asset. These are basically what you need to create an asset, opting to the asset, and all of that. So the rest of the code are basically JSS files and CSS components, styling, CSS type components that we have here. So if you need uh, the full code, the, I'll drop the link in the tutorial and if you also need the written tutorial I'll also drop the link for that and if you have any question concerning this tutorial any suggestions I'll be very very open so you can reach out to me you can drop it on the comments or reach out to me on Twitter and please do well to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done that and do well to like the video and also share with your friends anyone you know will be interested in videos like this share with them thank you once again for watching and i will see you in my next video